This is what we're making today. Come and get it. First thing we're going to do is caramelize some sugar. In a wok, we're going to add a little bit of water and then a rock sugar. The purpose of the water is to help melt the sugar faster. We're going to continuously stir this on high heat for about 3 minutes. As the water evaporates, the sugar will caramelize and start to change in color. First, it will become yellow and then turn into red. Once the sugar turns red, we're going to add in a cup of water to stop the cooking process and also prevent the sugar from caramelizing. We're going to set this aside and save it later for a braising liquid. This is a pork belly strip. We're going to cut it into chunks. If you can't find pork belly strips, just buy a pork belly and then cut it smaller. Next, we're going to place our pork belly into cold water and then bring it to a boil. We're then going to take our pork belly to the sink and then rinse it in cold water. What we're rinsing off is the scum. This will get rid of the bitterness from the pork. After rinsing our pork, we're now going to sear it in a wok. We're going to sear this pork until it achieves a golden brown color on all sides. We're going to continuously stir this on high heat to prevent it from burning. Once we've seared our pork, we're going to transfer it into a new pot because I need to use the wok for later. In this pot, we're going to add in our star anise, cinnamon, ginger, green onion, dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, shaoxin wine, our caramelized sugar, and water. We're going to bring this mixture up to a simmer, cover it with a lid, and cook it off for 3 hours. It's very important that this doesn't come to a boil. If it goes to a boil for 3 hours, you'll have very tough meat. What we want is a nice gentle simmer like this. Next, we're going to make rice noodles. In a bowl, we're going to add in rice flour, cornstarch, salt, and then stir. Once we've mixed all our dry ingredients together, we're going to add in our water and then give it a good mix again. What we're looking for is a very thin, watery batter. It should look like this. Now, we're going to take a non-stick pan and brush it with oil. You don't have to go heavy on it like I did, you just want a nice thin layer. We're then going to take our batter and then spread it out evenly. We're going to spread it by tilting the pan in all directions. Once the batter is nice and spread, we're going to take this into a steamer. Now this is where I had issues. I thought my pan would fit in the steamer, but it didn't. So now it's tilted. But we're going to cook it anyways for 5 minutes. While we wait, we're going to take our brush and oil our cutting board. This will help prevent the rice noodle from sticking to the cutting board when we cut it. After 5 minutes, we're going to take out our rice sheet. Once out, we're going to brush the top with oil. This will help prevent the rice sheets to sticking to each other when we layer it on top of each other. Once we've oiled it, we're going to take a spatula and then run it through the sides of the sheet. This will take the rice sheet off the pan. Once we've taken the rice sheet off the pan, we're simply going to flip it onto our cutting board. The recipe I made was able to produce 4 sheets. Unfortunately guys, as you can see, because the pan was unevenly tilted in the steamer, the rice sheets did not evenly cook. One side was thicker than the other. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything about it, so we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna take our knife and cut this into noodle strips. Once our noodles are done, we're simply gonna set it aside. The oil should keep it from sticking from each other. Now we're gonna make our broth. Originally, I was gonna buy a bunch of bones and shells to make this, but that would have been too much of a hassle, so we're gonna cheat it. In this pot, I added in chicken bouillon, dried shrimp, sesame oil, salt, and soy sauce. I brought this to a boil and let it boil for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I simply strained the stock and then set it aside and kept it hot. We're gonna use a portion of this stock later, 
to poach our tofu. This is a fish steak. We're gonna cut it into four quadrants. We're going to take this fish and marinate it in baiju and soy sauce. We're gonna marinate this for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're gonna place our fish on a tray and then cook it in the oven for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the prawn. Today, we're gonna keep the shell on. We're simply gonna cut its antenna and its legs, and that's it. Once our prawns are ready, we're gonna cook it real quick. In an extremely hot wok, we're gonna drop in our prawns and give it a little toss. After tossing it, we're gonna quickly add in our garlic and then give it another tossy toss. While I toss my shrimp around, don't forget to hit that like button, okay guys? I need it. And then finally, we're simply gonna add in soy sauce and then give it a final toss. This whole cooking process took about a minute and a half. And as for the final ingredient, we're simply going to take our tofu and cut it into 6 blocks. We're then going to take this tofu and simmer it in the broth that we made for about 5 minutes. This will absorb all the flavor and heat the tofu up. And finally, after hours of cooking, here's our braised pork. It's now fork tender. Alright guys, it's finally time to eat this. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I forgot to thicken the broth. This broth was supposed to be thick. This dish was based off a Chinese dish called pun choy, and it's supposed to have a thick broth, and I forgot to put in the cornstarch slurry. Anyways, the broth still tastes good. Considering I cheated it and I didn't put real bones and shells, this broth still tastes pretty good. Tastes like shrimp wonton soup. As for the rice noodles, it sucks. It's just too thick. Some parts are cooked properly, some parts is a little bit undercooked because it's too thick. It's just not good to the mouth feel. But this braised pork belly, mm -mm, delicious. Same with the shrimp. And this fish is so tender, it just melts in your mouth. Originally, guys, I actually tried to make Chi Chi's dish, no tomorrow. And the only difference between that dish and this dish was the tofu was shaped into little chicks. So I actually tried to shape the tofu into little chicks, but I ended up wasting about two blocks and I gave up. So I ended up making the base dish instead of making the special dish instead. Anyways, that's it for this episode. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.